Some people's bodies are a little bit restrictive, so we have compression points in, oh, do you hear that click? <laughs> I thought I would make this video to show you how I use props in my yoga practice. So in some traditional styles of yoga, props weren't really encouraged. But the more that I practice, the more I learn, the more I work with my students, the more I realise how useful props can be in helping us to try different postures, work with our bodies. The key thing is that each of us have such different anatomies. So the way that our bones and our joints are fixed together is totally different from one person to the other and even from one side of our bodies to the other. And so props are a really helpful thing to use to allow us to work with our bodies and to really feel the benefit of postures which our bodies without props might limit us from doing. The first prop that I use is a block. I'm sitting on one right now looks like this. You can get them in different sizes, different shapes, but this is just kind of your standard block and they're great for coming into like a seated meditation pose. They lift up your hips, so especially if you have any tightness in the lower body. A lot of people round through their spine when they come into a seated pose. So by lifting up the hips, letting the knees drop down, the block can be really helpful. Also, if we're coming into a forward fold, again, if there's a lot of tightness, sitting up on a block can help us to tilt the pelvis slightly to allow us to start folding forwards. So blocks are a really handy thing to do. If your teacher hands you a block in a class, it's not because she thinks you're rubbish at yoga or because you're not as flexible as anybody else. It's because it will help you to feel a pose more deeply in the area that you're working in. The next thing is a strap. So I know a lot of people are nervous to try yoga because they can't touch their toes or they feel like they are not flexible enough. So straps are really, really helpful. When you come into something like a forward fold, like I was just showing you, using a strap can help you reach your toes, especially if you're tight in the backs of the legs and you struggle to reach them to allow you to keep your upper body open. There are so many uses of straps, but that's just one of them. It just helps to give us a little bit of extra length in the arms, a little bit of help folding forwards, those kind of things. So straps are really, really helpful. And there's lots of different ones you can get. This is kind of your standard yoga strap. It has a buckle here so that you can make a loop, which is handy for looping around your foot so that you can extend out like this. It gives your, not generally sitting down, but if I was standing up, it just helps to give my arm a bit of an extension so that I can roll my shoulder back into my shoulder joint rather than like hunching forwards, desperately trying to touch my toes. So that's kind of your standard strap. You can also get ones like this. This one's from Lululemon, but it also doubles up as a as a mat carrier so or a mat strap so you can use it to take your mat to class and then when you get there you've got it here you can use it so that's kind of handy it acts as like a two-in-one and then the other kind of straps that I use in my practice are these so this is from a brand called Mama Kuka and I think they're actually quite hard to get hold of in the UK but I was looking at them and you could so easily make one of these out of a regular strap but the idea of these they come in a pack with all these different lengths when you're starting to work with certain postures. Some people's bodies are a little bit restrictive. We have different compression points in our shoulders, our hips, all of our different joints. So if you're working on something like a king pigeon, these straps are really helpful for helping to get the rotation that I can't actually get by myself. So I can loop that on there and use it to draw that round. I find them more useful than regular straps for that just because they're a set length. And then as you kind of, as your flexibility improves, you can, you know, you can start with the big one and then move on. And you've also got different ones for trying different postures. I actually originally had this one, which is an infinity strap for doing that. The problem with this is that it's really stretchy. I catapult it. So those are great, but that didn't go as far as I thought it was going to. Those are great 
but as you're going into it, it stretches so you're not able to deepen the pose. And then the last prop that I would definitely recommend is a bolster. This one is amazing. It's from uh, Shanty Sundays, which is a really lovely boutique brand and it's filled with lavender, so it smells really good too. But these are really great to help with your meditation. Similar to a block, you can come and sit up on here. And they're obviously soft, so you can find that tilt a little bit more easily. The other thing that they're really helpful for is anything where you're bending backwards. You can come and bring the bolster underneath the spine to get an opening through the chest. You can take it deeper by taking it under the shoulder blades, really opening up here. But yeah, bolsters are really great for lots of different things. So these are the things that I use in my practice pretty much on a daily basis. I'll leave links to them in the box below. If you have any comments, questions, or queries about how to use them, then please leave a comment and I will do what I can to help. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, then subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon.